Okay. All right. So I'm going to talk to you, Mike, about Tesla today. Uh, today is the 6th of December. So can you see my screen or is it paused? Uh, I can see your screen. I, I think I saw the mouse moving around. Okay, good. So you can see the mouse. Move, move your move your mouse around. Let me see if I can see it. Yeah, it's live. Okay, I got it. Okay. All right. So what we're going to talk about, and I'm going to switch screens here on the recording, is we're going to talk about up here in the 30 minute. Okay. So today we were trading, and this is what it looked like right here. Okay. Can you see up here in the 30 minute? Yep. Now, one of the hard parts, the frustrating parts about f trading for me, and I think this is some of the stuff that we need to talk about in the group, is that, you know, my work now starts once the daylight savings change because Arizona doesn't change times. My work starts a half hour before the market opens. So it's been very difficult. Fourth quarter, lots of sales due. Hard to get the opening trades, right? Lots of meetings early in the morning, everybody doing that. And and there's probably other people like that in the group that have that difficulty, you know, necessarily trading in in the morning. So I want to share a perfect rev strat today that I was able to catch actually in between a meeting. So I happened to look up and I saw Tesla's 30-minute chart right here. Can you see it right here? Yep. So there was a three on the 30 minute. What does that three mean? Well, Donnie was talking earlier about engulfing, but that does not look like it's engulfing unless I can't, like the wick, if the wicks are longer than it's an engulfing uh, three. Yeah, here's the bottom wick of the wick right here, right? See yeah, they're good. They're not easy to see there. I can see them now. Okay, good. Okay. So yep. the wick right yep. here goes below this one, right? So it opens here comes down it opened and went it went slightly above so it opened and went slightly above it see that this previous candle right up to the the vp level right and then it came down all the way down below it look at how far it almost came to the opening this blue dotted blue line is the opening see that and then yeah. it came all the way back and closed right here that's a three so what is this t candlestick telling you about this last 30 minutes? That the price is volatile. I mean, you were moving up and down. Right. They literally moved it up. The buyers bought and hit up VP. They, they sold the crap out of it, right? Boom, we're covered. And they had it bounce and it went all the way down to the opening price. Right. And then they shoved then it, came it back all up. the way back up, right? Yep. So that's important to know because if it can go up, it can go down. That's what the three means. So they're fighting. The buyers and the sellers are fighting. Well, then the next 30 minutes, it's a one. You see the one under there? So it's an inside candle. So what does that mean? Nobody's really fighting, right? That's what it means. Nobody's winning. It's kind of a stalemate, right? The buyers, sellers, they're all got kind of freaked it's out less, by this three, right? It's less, it's less volatile than the prior 30 minutes for That's sure. That's right. But they got freaked out by this three. That's what happens. A three, one pattern is a very, could be a very powerful pattern because what happens is, is you got, huge volatility here people fighting selling and then you got a little bit of a ooh, i'm a little freaked out here you know nobody's fighting let's see what happens well then the next candlestick on the 30 all of a sudden it goes boom straight up right and the buyers are look like they're they're gonna it's gonna go and it's it almost looks like it's gonna take the rev strat day up right and go right outside of it 
so close, so close. Yeah, doesn't go to it. That VD dotted line, line is the previous, yeah, the previous day's high. And it doesn't. It doesn't take the previous day's high. But what it does, that's very important, that I want you to see um, on this other screen. And let me move the recording to that screen. can what happened to the source i remember donnie saying at one point when the candle is shaped like that with a tall wick and a like like the one you were just pointing to that if he ever sees that he's he's in most cases he's going to be shorting okay can you see over here right yeah so this is what's happening right this is that three one so here's the three right comes down up this is what it looks like on a five minute chart this is the 30 minutes right here see that oh interesting okay yeah now here's the let me just break this up into so here's this it's actually yeah so then you see that the next 30 minutes, I think it's right about here, is inside, right? I see that. Inside. I see it blip up to the dotted. Uh, yep. And I see it blip up there to the move up and break out right. up to the dotted so then it, line. It breaks up to the VP line right here. This white line is the VP line that Donald drew right here. And just one tip that I, the way that I got a lot better at VPs is I would draw my VPs, I would do my homework, and then I'd ask Donald to zoom in on his. And then I'd ask him why mine were different. That's a good way to learn, okay? So you see right here, inside five-minute candle, right there, you can see the one. Yeah. Now, ideally, it would have been to get in here, right? But I wasn't paying attention. I was in a meeting. Or right here. It would have been ideal to get in right here. I wasn't paying attention. It came down boom, came back up right here and created that wick that we saw on the 30-minute candle. Right? Remember that? Yeah. So let's go back to the 30-minute chart. Let's see. So let me ask you a question, uh, Zach, before you go back to that 30-minute chart. Can yeah. we stay on the five-minute for, for a second? Yeah. All right. So... You mentioned that um, right around 16.30, right in there, you were in a meeting. You would have shorted it at that point. But you were in a meeting and couldn't do it. Right. Came all the way up to VP, came down, retested it, or came all the way up to VP, came down and retested it. That is a good signal, according to... What's the name of that book for? Right, so that it, that's what I'm asking. Down, so right? that's what you know, at that point on that candle, you would have taken a short. That's right. And okay. I would have been looking at a much smaller time frame. That's an engulfing candle. Well, that I wouldn't have been looking at a five minute. I would have been looking at a one minute, right? Even maybe thirty seconds. And if it reacted down, I would have got in. Okay, it had to break this, you know, major VP at the time, but. It did. It went. It went right down past it, right? But then, right. you know, you take. That's why you take profits because this is a big. The opening is a big resistance right here, right? And then it went back up, and then it finally broke up the high of the day. That's important right here. See that? Broke the previous high over here. That's the strongest. That was what Donald was talking about earlier. That would have been ideal to get into. It broke the high. Inside candle fiber went below it and just puked, right? Now I'm going to show you, so you what would have wanted, you would have you would have wanted to take the trade at that point when it broke that high. If it reverses. Now the thing to remember too is during this is the cues were going down at the same time. So it's gotta match up with the market, right? So if the market was raging up. I would have never taken this short, right? I wouldn't have gone against the market.
but they because the market was going down, that's a great play, right? And then the VWAP is probably your, you know, but this over here is where, you know, getting out and stuff like that. Okay, so let me show you on the 30 minute here what I saw and how I got in the trade. Zach, a, Zach we have a question. There's a, another, we got somebody in the group here wanting to ask a question. Okay. Go ahead and type it in or talk. What's your question? I can hear you, Russ, but apparently Zach cannot hear you. Let me see, Russ. I might have you muted from today. Come on. Hey, Russ. Hey, can you hear me now? Yeah. All right. Awesome. So your signal, your entry signal would have been the engulfing candle on that rejection of the break of the high. Yeah, but let me show you saying? what I saw. Okay. You so were I'm looking getting, at the one I'm, minute. I'm looking at the thirty minute right here, and I'm I'm in a meeting, right? Mm -hmm. And I look up at the thirty minute. I get out of the meeting, and I see a three one, and then I see the rev strap possibility. Holy crap! And I can see this easily because I've been doing it for so long, right? This is a perfect setup because it did two things on this candlestick. It broke the high. Ideally, it would have been nice to get in here, right? But I wasn't paying attention then, right? When I looked at the 30, it came back down, and I saw this. And I was like, wow, that's a perfect red strat, rev strat 30 minute to the downside, possibly. So I drew this line for the low of the 30 minute candlestick. Make sense? Of the one candle? No, the, the low of the low of of this candlestick. The low of this candlestick. That's what's important. Are, are you looking at the five getting... minute? No, this is the thirty minute. Oh. So this is thirty minutes right here. This is thirty minutes. This is what's important to understand about the rev strat. It's not this candlestick that makes it a rev strat. This candlestick <laughs> is the setup candlestick. So because it went up above the previous one, right? And it could have stayed up here, but because it was in here earlier, it would still be considered a rev strat. But it's so ideal when you get a rev strat, I'm pointing at the wrong screen. When you get a rev, uh, a setup candle for the rev strat is it goes up, breaks the highs, and then creates this wick. What is that? signaling possibly when you guys see that kind of candlestick what is it signaling telling right weakness right holy crap yeah. the buyers bought it up here they brought it up the buyers were buying all of a sudden boom just smashed it down so this is the setup candle for the rev strat that's what you got to understand this is not a rev strat this is the setup candle. It has to be a one. The three is a bonus. Inside candlestick, whoops. This is the setup candlestick because it goes above and then comes back down. It's the same way, the opposite way. Then this candlestick is the rev strat. So if it goes below this low of this candlestick, that's when the rev strat is activated. So your and entry is on the low, the break of the low of the, the, this the candle, setup candle. So that's right, exactly. Now, okay. let me show you that on a smaller time frame of what I was looking at. And I'm going to tell you a little tip. If I can get to the one minute. Well, let's, do, let's do it on the 30 second. Okay, so let's look at the 30 second here. This is actually the screen I was looking at, but... So, I drew this line. I got excited. Now, the tip is, here it is, right here, right? This is that action that's happening. Here's the low of the setup candlestick, right? Now we're into the next 30 minutes. Make sense? You see the setup? I was always told, don't be the first one in when it dips below the setup candlestick. So, I waited. 
it went down, right? It dipped below it, right? You see that? Can you see that on the screen? Mike? Yes. So can yes, you see I can that? See it. So it came down below and then shot back up. Now look at this interesting little setup right here. Let's see if I can get a circle on that for you to make it easier for I'll do a square. Look at this nice little setup right here on a 30 second candlestick. So what is this guys? What's this right here? Well, it's actually these. So what's this candlestick right here? That I'm right above. Say it out loud. Like a, a hammer candle. It's an inside candle. You see the one? Is it? You see the little one down here? I got it set up on trading view where it just tells me if it's an inside candle or a three. So oh, it's wow. inside this previous candlestick. It's a one. I then can't what, see the wick on that green candle. Oh, there we go. Zoom in a little bit. All right. And then the next candle opened below. What do we what do we just call this on the 30 minute candlestick? The setup candle. The setup candlestick. Perfect. Right at the point we want it to drop through. And then it did the rev strat. Not only on the third, this is when you can get really good movement. Is it not only did the rev strat on the 30, it did the rev strat on the 30 minute, it did the rev strat on the 30 second. It's pretty, it, it, I know it's not like, it, it, you guys aren't like, wow, but it's still, it's pretty cool. It did, uh, did the rev strat on it. Okay. It looks like it was on increasing volume as well. Yeah. Or, oh no. No, I guess the, the next candle. So then it goes down below it, right? We already know that we didn't want to be the first ones in. Came back up. Rev strat down on the 30 minute. Huh? Goes down and it starts to break. When a rev strat hits, if it's a true rev strat, it breaks fast. Make sense? So when this came down and started coming back up, I got in right away. Let's get rid of that box. Okay, so the setup candle, rev strat comes back. This is the candle comes back up. Boom! I got in right away, mm -hmm. and then look at it. Boom! It moves quickly. If it starts to go sideways for a while, I get out because rev strats move fast when they're really executed. They just dump because everybody's scared, right? It's captured everybody. It's captured everybody on the 30 minute. And they just start selling off and covering. So if it starts to go sideways for what I get out. Now look at it. So what I did is I knew I had a meeting I had to run to. So it came down to this point of this is the open price, right? Right here, the blue line. You see that? As soon as it started to do this, I sold two of the four options. Now what's cool about that? The only reason I did that is Donald has trained me to get my lizard brain and take some profit so I don't freak out when it starts to move. Now, look at what's crazy about it. It went all the way back up and tested that 30-minute rev strat. You see that? Yeah. But it's only been about, what, five minutes? Retested it. Now, in the past, this was what happened to me a million times, only playing the rev strat and not knowing Donald, is I'd be in it up here, and I'd be making bank coming down here, and then it would reverse on me. And then I'm like, how am I losing money? You know? And I'm freaking out, and then I would sell it. But because I sold two, half of my options, I was in the profit, and when I came up here... I was still in the profit, well into the profit. So I wasn't freaking up when it retested it. Made this candlestick. It came back down. Boom, boom, boom. You see that? 
and then it came down. And you're still you're still holding I'm the two still contracts. Under, yep. It <clears> came <throat> down here, I believe, and I sold one. The VP. And then it came back up here, retested the open, came back down, and I had to get out. I had to run to the meeting. This is the second standard deviation that Donald talks about. I wish I could have stayed in it, but I had to run. So I sold the last one there. Now look what it did, though, if I had stayed in it. Came back up, tested the open again, came down, tested the open again, and then puked all the way down. To, almost to the VP level, right? But the cool part is it came back up, retested it, and then it eventually, I believe, puked down, puked, went short, down to the VP level right there, boom. And then it, this is important to look, Donald's always taught this, it came below the VP level, this is Donald's VP level, Came down below the VP level and then came back up, retested the VP level. The Qs are puking at this time. Qs are going down. Doji kind of candlestick. Boom. You you can re, re you know refill here. And then look at it. It just went down. Boom. Boom. The cool part is, let's turn to the 30-minute chart here. I'll show you something neat. What would your stop out have been if it did if come it went, back up? And, if it went sideways, I would have got out. Makes sense? What about if it went down immediately, you sold those two contracts, and then when it, if it came back up, would a break of that setup break handle even. be your stop Yeah, out? break even would have been. Just break even. Yeah. Okay. So now look at the 30-minute chart. Right? No, that's the 30-second. Let me get on the 30-minute chart here. I'm going to figure out how to find these charts this is neat what happened on the 30 minute chart okay here we go so you see the th this is the rev strat right so this is the setup candlestick this is the inside setup and then boom does exactly what the teaching is supposed to be and it did it for exactly 30 minutes it doesn't always but that's cool right but look at the next candlestick Holy cow. So 30 minutes later, it's an inside candlestick, right? You see the one, the big fat one right there? You guys see that? How do you set that on a... Uh... Trading view? Yeah. It's a indicator, and I'll show you later, okay? Okay. So then you go, It's it does it again. It's a one inside candlestick. And then what's this candlestick called that we called it? Set up. Set up. Now, I wasn't here. I was in the meeting. I didn't even see this until after. And it went. Did I, Ideally, you would have got in at this VP level right here, right? That's what Donald's teaching me. You get in the VP level, and then you can make more money because then it comes down. And if it if it does break, then you've been in it more, right? But look, you could have done it again. The low of the day, low of the 30-minute candlestick right here where my cross is. Wait. Yeah. Right here. And then it puked again. Boom. Did the rev strat. It did it again. If you did get in on that VP level, what would your stop in that a break right of here. the inside candle? No, back up to the, oh, the to to make the day green. The break or of the setup candle? Yeah, to make the day green, right? That's the this is the open price right here, this blue line. How do you say okay, maybe that's another thing. Yeah, this can you see the top of this price? VP right here? Yeah, the, I always put in the print open print price, always. On, yeah. On my chart. So look at it. It closed down here. And let's see what it looks like as far as VP levels. Let's look and see the VP here. What is the three candle again? See how I, this one's really clear. Let me get rid of these lines. See how small the three, see this? it goes all it goes above and below the low of this candlestick and the high. 
You see that? So Rob used to say something, once a three, always a three. And that's important because a one can turn into a two, right? If this one decided it wanted to go, it's it opens as a one and then it decides to go above it, it'd be a two, right? If a two can reverse back and become a three, but a three, you can never change that it was a three. It's always going to be a three. So that's pretty cool. What is the what is the three candle again? See, look, can you see my screen right here? Yeah. See the three right there? Yeah. Look at the previous what candle. Is it, it went all the way. This came up, sold, and the buyers took back over and shoved it back up. So it initially sold off, came up a little bit, open here, or closed there. It opened here. Oh. Came down. No, maybe it's the other way. Then boom, and then it closed, right? So and it's so a rev it, candle? it took, yes, a three is an automatic rev strat candle. But don't try to think of that too much. But yeah, and look what it did. Boom, straight up. It doesn't always work out that way, but a 3 1 is a very powerful tool as well. We saw that earlier. But the cool part about it is, is this is an obvious, look at how small this candlestick is. And they smashed it down and smashed it up, right? They smashed it down. You think the buyers are in control, the sellers are in control, and then the buyers come in. Boom. Take it way above this candlestick. And then it just, the buyers take, the momentum of the buyers is powerful. Then look at this. Inside candlestick right here. So then they start taking profits. And one. The theory is, is once it goes below here, went below this one, you can get in and play it down. Awesome. So, do you see the, now let me show you in trading view, the indicator. Uh, let's see here. So let's, I don't know if I can zoom into that. Can you see that? It's called candle type. And then it's got yeah. parentheses, the strat. I see it. Now, let me show you how to set it up. Okay. So it will open up and it will have these all blue and it will have them all check marked. I do not want a two. Look at what it does to the screen. It's all weird. Look at this. Look at this. That's, you can't see anything, right? To me, the two is useless right now. Uh, the, the two to me was designed so that way you could say everything was a two, 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 or three, two, two. No, we, we just want the threes and the one. So I get rid of the two. See how it clears up the screen a lot more? And I can see the yeah. ones and threes. And then I make the one a yellow, and I put it below. And then you can do whatever you want. But then I make it yellow, and I put it below, the three. And that's all you need to do. Sorry, so, one more. Could you leave that up for a second? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. And then how do you do the opening price and, and then the previous day high? So what I do before the the open of the, like over here is the daily chart, right? So before mm -hmm. the day starts, I come over here and find out what the high is and I label, I put a dotted orange line. That's just something I have oh, always always and then i'll put an alert so That's, you do it manually yeah i do it manually and then i when okay. it opens real quick i go to the candlestick find out what the open is and then i go to a smaller time frame and put in the blue dotted line and then make it to where it goes on every chart and the same thing for the previous day high that's yep. when you're looking for these type of setups yeah previous high and previous low especially on these kind of days like if it's a if it's a two 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 or whatever if it's not the reason I do it on these kind of days is look at it was a rev strat here it failed right it failed right but then it was I can hear myself and then it was inside candle right here so that's why on the previous day I put the high and then I put do you guys have a 
Okay. Somebody does repeat. Okay. So that's why I did it. Okay. Like right okay. here, I wouldn't have put anything in high and low. Why? I wouldn't have been playing this. Most likely, unless this was at a major VP level, right? But there's no daily signal there of an inside or anything like that. Now look at the, let's see if I can get you to the weekly chart. And you guys can go back and watch this. And if you got questions, ask me. I just, I want to get in some information here. That, okay. So right here is the weekly chart. Let me move this over for you. So this is this week. This is what Donald and I were talking about. I have the same setup, the candlestick type, the strap settings, the same, except I make this one white for some reason. I don't know. And so on the weekly, this is the list that Donald puts out. I use a website called, whoa. if you don't have TC2000 or whatever, this is the website I use to find out the setups for the strat. So Donald has his setup for weekly. I run through this. So runstrat.com. And then the key is, is I go to the S&P 500 and to find possible rev strats, I do a one, two pattern. And that's for the daily up here. And then I hit filter. So all of these on the S&P 500s are on the daily one twos. Now, let's go to Tesla because we've been working with that, okay? Put that away. And I do this just just real quick. I do the same thing on the NASDAQ. Boom. Hit filter. These it's are all filter. the ones on the, on the NASDAQ. That's going to be one I'm going to look at because it has one. earnings tomorrow. All right. All right. So let's go. Zach, I didn't get that one. Huh? ABG. I did not hear that website. Oh, it's Run, run Strat. All right, let me put it back up for you. Runstrat.com, okay. Yeah. Runstrat.com. This is a guy that makes it. It's cool. And then you look for a one two pattern? Yeah, because let me show you here on the daily. I'll move this to the daily. So this. This helps my research to where I don't have a lot of time. I'm coaching. I'm doing all this stuff to do my research, right? So here's the daily chart. It said over here that Tesla on the daily. See how it's on the daily right here? It's kind of cool. It even puts the day here, week, month, right? It's a one-two. Now, what does that mean? I'll show you what that means. Are you trying to share the page? The run strat page because I don't see it. Okay, right there. The run strat. Dot com. Right I still here. Still don't see the... it. I just see your Tesla charts. Yeah, we're still looking at your TC two thousand. See, it's showing up on the recording. Let me see. How would I? Let me see if I can just put it in here. Zach. Yeah. So. <clears throat> What you do, what you have to do is you actually have to stop sharing via Discord, and then start sharing again, and okay. select the uh, the website, Chrome or or whatever it is that you're that you're using. So like, get to share your share your screen again, and it then you Perfect. can select. Hey, baby. You're leaving? Okay. All right. Do you see the run strat now? Yep. Okay. This is the website. Now, if you have TC2000, you're lucky. You just do this, the scan that Robert has. But unfortunately, uh, TradingView doesn't have any kind of uh, indicator like that. So this guy, you know, I know him, built this website. It's really cool. So it has a daily, weekly, and monthly, right? So what I did is I, I went to S&P 500 right here. And then I'm the, to look up possible rev strats is a 1-2. And I just know that, right? And then I hit filter. 
Now look at all of these were possible. But we know Tesla. We've just been working on it, right? So it's a 1, 2, and a 2, 1 on the weekly, okay? But I just want to show you now, okay? Can you see the screen? Yep. Does, does this make sense, this screen that I'm showing you? And, and I'll have to do a yep. class on how to run this. It's a whole other thing, okay? So that's this will help my homework. Now, this is exciting to me that AVGO is on a 1, 2, possibly. I haven't looked at it, and their earnings are tomorrow. And we so when to... it's a one two down, that could be a possible um, long rev strap, right? And then Actually, I think this one, is a two, one two up because it's green. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's a further indication when it's green. Yeah, so it's that's positive. That's signaling a possible long play, right? Possibly. Let me just look at it. Here. Yeah. I haven't looked at it. But the key is is the one two. Now let me. Put that away, and I'll stop sharing my screen again. And I'll go back to the chart. Share. Okay, what are you guys seeing? New Tesla charts again. Okay, are you seeing this screen? Okay. So, Now, see, I wonder if they're including after hours on that one. Or this day hasn't. So the, I think that this website has not updated yet, and it's doing this. So that's how I found this rev or this after hours. I'll have to look at it. So this is how you can find this stuff, right? So it's an inside, and then it's an up too. And it could have been a possible, could be a possible rev strap. Now, I'm not sure about this one. I got to look at that. But does that make sense? Why I look at the one twos? Because if it breaks below here, and I turned all the, uh, hold on, let me put the VPs back on. So it was rev stratting right and i know it's a lot of lines on on the major no, no zach it makes sense to me why you look at a one two it doesn't make sense it does not i don't know why you're looking at that okay good that's a good question it's a fair question so what the one two teach it shows me what's this candlestick called right here we said it earlier shooting star Remember on the 30th? The setup, the the setup, setup candle. candlestick. That's right. So what a one, two, which means it goes above it, right? Or it just goes below it, right? So like right here, you see this? This is a one, two down because it went below the previous one. This setup candle okay. right here, look at it, rev strat went above it. And it went above it hard. Mm -hmm. So the reason I scan one twos is I'm looking for potential setup candlesticks for the rev strat potentially. Am I? I know I may not be saying the words right. Something that might help. Yeah. So the reason he looks for those is he's looking. All he's looking for is failed breakouts. Down. Or failed breakouts. Or failed breakouts. Yeah. Potential. Potential. That's exactly right. Exactly right. So the scan helps me where the it's scan different. helps me where it's different. because I don't have a lot of time to study. I don't have a lot of time to study because I got a full time job. I got three I got curls. Full time job. I got three curls. The scan kind of focuses my scan kind of focus my my studying. My studying. So when I saw Chess Tesla on well, that, I saw Chess Tesla on, that on that strat, that, the running strat, strat website. The running strat. Website. I instantly go to Tesla. I look at the daily. Go to Tesla, look at the daily. And we already know the exciting we part about this, exciting part about this possibility is we already know that we have we already a know potential. We have I'm like potential, I can hear myself echoing. I can hear myself echoing. Yeah, you got some serious yeah, stuff going. 
but I can potentially. I already know we so, have a rev set potential down. There we go. Guys, and, real quick. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. If you guys individually mute Husky Mike, the echo will go away. But just know he's muted. That's what's causing the echo. It's because you're coming out of his speakers and it's feed. Does that, does that make sense? Perfect. Yeah, thank you. So, Mike, Husky Mike, I don't know if you can hear me, but when you're not talking, you should mute yourself so we don't have the, uh, the echo. So I hope this class isn't going too long for you guys and, and brain dead yet or whatever, but the reason I scan for one twos is like you said, the I need to change my language. The the failed breakups or breakdowns. Because what happened on this setup candlestick is the buyer started buying and then boom they slammed it back down, the seller sold, right? Now I came back up a little bit. So the potential is if it goes below this right here. And the neat thing is, is it looks like the major VP line is right here. Just so, you know, right below that sets up the rev strat, potentially. But it didn't. If it would have gone below that and down, then we would have, I would have played it, right? So it went inside. So nobody won. Nobody won. It didn't, the buyers and the sellers, nobody won. And then tomorrow, I would look to see possibly, let me just show you what I do. So then, as I'm doing my homework, I'll come in here. Oh, boy. Let me get this clear this for you. So I come in here. I find this. I put an orange dotted line because I know that's my color that for the daily. And then I sit on here, and the low is 239.17. And then I I like to do this way. Boom. And then I set an alarm. That way I know when it hits it because I'm, you know, I'm working. And then I do the same thing for up here. Okay. Because if on an inside candlestick, if it goes either way, that's a potential play. If it goes up above it or if it goes below it, that's a potential player. Okay. Am I ta am I talking too much, guys? No, man. That's right. So, Thank you. Yeah. You have any questions? I my hope is that we we can share this stuff with each other because you know we're all at different levels. Some of us are not able to you know sit and see every play or play the open or we can play the open we can do, we can just start telling each other hey hey i see a rev strat or whatever at the vp line or the high of the day or you know what i mean or it's an inside so if it were to break sorry to interrupt yeah. if it were to break um today's high tomorrow and come back down you you wouldn't necessarily be looking to enter right as it comes back in you're looking for further signals yeah uh, what i it depends on where it opens right so like if it yeah, opens okay. up here then i'm like on the one minute chart really looking at the vp levels up here and seeing where the major vp levels are right and there may be a vp level here on the daily or whatever and then hoping that seeing if it will either bounce down or bounce up, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what Donald's taught me how to get in earlier than just waiting for it to come down here or waiting for it to come all the way up here. We just play with what the market tells us, right? And so if I can get in here and you want the the market going with you ideally, right? the cues or the spy you know or sometimes when it goes sideways it will still they'll still they'll still work a little but that's the major the major thing is like let me move this chart over here so 
so we can see yesterday's VP levels right here very well. Right here. Major VP for yesterday. Right here, and you can see it on this chart. Right? So, McDonald's the expert on the VPs. I love the VPs because it shows me where all the pe most of the people are. So that was just yesterday. And then you may want to pull it out. You know, check it even a little bit more detailed. You know, this is showing that over the past, you know, however many days, if we wanted it to go down, right there. So it all plays with the VPs. See, look at this. Yep. Look at this VP right here. That's so sweet. Came up, rejected, came up, rejected. Right on the VP. I mean, it was awesome. And then boom, faked everybody out, went high, above this high, boom. But the reason the Rev Strat I like is it's a visual thing. To me, my eye is trained to see this. At first, I you didn't could understand. Play it down. Yeah, at first, I didn't understand. Now, the neat thing is what I'm trying to develop for me is the power of a failed rev strat. I don't know if I should go into that right now, but so see how this rev strat worked right here. This is the setup candle. It went down below and then it just boom came all the way down to this VP level right here. The next day, this major VP point came down mm -hmm. there. That's when, you know, if it starts to move up and the market's moving up, boom, you get in and then boom, it activates comes all the way up. Pretty sweet. So you're not really taking into consideration volume, no, just volume profile. Yeah, I do. I do just the. Now I'm learning how to, and I'm working with Donald and not trying to figure out how to get the volume in the candlesticks better and accurately, because mm -hmm. that will help. Yeah. Um. Know where you know who you're playing against. Yeah, and how much volume is where. Hey, just a real quick comment on that. Yeah. Anytime that you are using volume profile, <clears throat> you are paying attention to volume because that's all it is. Volume profile is, is exactly that. It's volume. Yeah. So you know how you see, talk about a high uh, volume candle that you see makes this breakthrough and then you want a low volume pullback? Well, just think mm -hmm. about that from the volume profile perspective. Well, you're going to get a lot of buying that comes in, right? And it's going to create a thicker VP. Mm. And then you're going to get a little bit of selling that comes in. And that's going to create a smaller VP, right? right. That's that's ultimately what it is. Mm -hmm. And so the, the perfect example of paying attention to the volume, if you were to look at that Tesla chart that we looked at yesterday, and it's like, man, this is a bearish candle. Ooh, maybe we should short this thing, right? And you, well... No, in fact, it's not that bearish of a candle because there's 90 million people above you and only 30 million people, I'm sorry, yeah, 90 million people below you and only 30 million above you. And so it's not a great short yet. You need some yeah. consolidation to allow it to come down. So, yeah, you're always paying attention to the volume, 100%. But you're just getting a better detail of it. Yeah, volume. you're looking at it from both perspectives. Correct, yeah. What's kind of cool, okay. Donald, is it, where you mark that 90 million, is it kind of stopped? Is that? Were you knocked? Were you marked on the a couple of days ago the chart where that ninety uh -huh. minute it, it it didn't go below it? So it they, hasn't today. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure unless this is after hours. Yeah, no, it's still still sitting above it. And what's so cool is, is the rev strat didn't go into effect, but we yeah, know the, why. This is a this is an inside candle today, right? Yep. Yep. So what we've got now is literally, remember the, the 90 million was, was what was holding us up. Now we've had 126 million people above that 90 million. So what do wow. you think happens if we go down tomorrow? That's everybody's trapped. A lot of cover. Right. right. And yeah. so, and then you start expanding out your horizon. Well, what about the day before? The day before you had 100 million. Right. So the, you add that's those, that's 190 versus 130 million. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that, that's what's creating the consolidation. And just, you know, I, I'm not looking at this from like thingy, but just looking at it, it 
to me, it looks like there should be a uh, high time frame to squeeze somewhere in this. Uh, let me check it out. Hold on, let me see. I'll add it to my favorites and see if there's one in there. And th this is yep. what creates those. We got a 195. Yeah, there it is. Yep. So now you've got a 195 minute squeeze. And this is what I'm talking about with the. Uh, Play and the 130. You play in between the ranges. So if you look at the fourth, if you remember, I drew, I drew triangles, and I said, "Hey, you know, people were trying to find me that Costco chart that looked similar." And I said, "Well, sort of. If we get a, if we get a break out of these these lines, and I'll I'll paste it in there." I have the hourly chart. I don't have the 65 minute chart. I have the hourly. And so we've got we've got the fifth and the sixth that have, you know, consolidated above this breakout level. <clears throat> and if you start breaking down, that's 230 plus million people, right? Now, Donald, when it starts, if it does break down, it will. Will it start just going quickly because so many people are there and so many people so, are above? So the way that I see it is your hey, – let me zoom in on the two-minute real quick. Ah. Okay. So here's that. Your speed up will come – Again, pretending there's no gaps or whatever. Um, you, you still got you still got a pretty decent bait underneath this thing. Um, so I don't think you're going to get a speed up until you crack two thirty five. And, and ideally, that would be what would what what would happen. Again, wave the magic wand if you keep keep the shorts entertained, keep the longs entertained, and just grind slowly down. And you'll get small speed ups, you know what I mean? You'll get a speed up in between like 238. 238. Yeah, I'm looking at the two minute chart. You're right, man. There's a lot there. Yeah, there's a lot underneath. And so, like, once that 238, what is that? Yeah, 230, 30, 237.83 ish. So, so, once the 238, you know, uh, 50 ish starts cracking down, then you're going to double bottom at 237.65, right? And then your next, your next big level is going to be that 237. So you've got some like hiccups in between, but the main VP levels that you, you, you're really going to be bouncing off of, uh, if you can crack 230, 237 to 23666. I think you'll get a fast flush to 234 and then try to trap more people and then if you break that 234 you're 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 done. All right. And and the flip side of that is it should be done. So what happens if it doesn't? What happens if it comes down to 231 and then 230 and then 22950 and it pulls back above 235? Shoot. Rest strat, right? Rest strat. Mm -hmm. Let's look for one. Well, what do you think about the, I mean, if it does break that, then you're most likely going to put the rev strat weekly down into effect. Yep. Yep. 100%. Yeah. And that's what, just what you were talking about, looking at a failed rev strat. What does that mean? So the failed rev strat retraps everybody, right? Yes. The opposite direction. Yep. A lot of times, remember what I say, when you get a failed breakout, you'll get a failed breakdown, mm -hmm. and then you figure out where you want to go, right? And so sometimes you get a you get a red strat, and you take the profits where you can get them, and then it, then it brings it back up into the middle. You know, think of it like this. You get to the high end, you get to the low end, and then you bring it back mm -hmm. to the value area. Yep. 
and then people are like, oh, okay, well, let's figure out what this really is. Well, and that's why if the rev strut is going sideways, right when it gets to the point where it's supposed to break, that's just, I've been burned by that so many times. Yep, yep. Cool. Well, guys, I really appreciate it. You got any questions, Mike? Any questions, Earth? Uh, I'm just taking notes. Well, really appreciate your time and walking us through it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Donnie, too. Yeah. And I'm grateful right, for Donnie go because ahead. the lizard brain helped me. The selling of the lizard brain helped me today. <laughs> All right, guys. Yep, let's have a good night. Got to feed the lizard. Yep. All right. Good night, guys.